excited. I thought you were supposed to be on your date. I am, but I kind of sneaked away because... <sighs> I don't even know how to say this. Ned, I think... I think he's like planning to propose or something. Oh my gosh, congratulations! No, Remy, that's not a good thing. We don't even know each other. This is our first date. This isn't good at all. Like, I don't know what to do. I, I can't accept his proposal. So what if he does, like, propose? What do I do? Well, you have to say yes. It's the only thing you can do. Wait, you're you're joking, right? You don't actually expect me to say yes to him, do you? Well, if you don't say yes, you're gonna break his heart. Yeah, and if I do say yes, I'm gonna break my heart. I I don't love him like that. I think he's a really nice guy, you know. As I'm getting to know him, he's funny and all that. But it's not the L word, okay? But if he went through the trouble of setting up the first date, working really hard to get that ring, I just, I don't know what you can do. Remy, I'm not trying to be mean, but right now you're being no help to me because I don't know if it's maybe because you're in love and then like you want everybody else to be in love or what, but it's not a sensible thing. So you're telling me if a complete stranger went up to you and proposed to you, you would say yes. Duh, of course I would. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. And if you did say yes, you're just as crazy. I don't know what I'm going to do. Sai, as much as I love talking to you, you better get back to your date before Ned realizes that you're gone. Oh my gosh, yes, I, I forgot all about that. Oh, but Remy, please, can you just pretend that like your arm is about to be chopped off by an alligator or something and you need my help and then like you could start screaming and it's my escape from the date? No, I can't lie like that because what if an alligator does bite my own arm off one day? It's, it's just, it's not... Good luck to do that. <sighs> okay, I will figure this out on my own. Okay, he's not back yet. Good. Oh, maybe he's like preparing the food or something. I don't know. I still can't believe he's doing this. Where was this ring? It was here, wasn't it? Oh, maybe I could just like say my kids had an emergency. Maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe I just need to calm down. Maybe I could just jump into this lake and hide. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. This is so, so bad. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. You see that creeper over there? Okay. I think I just came up with the greatest idea ever. I just have to hope he doesn't come back anytime soon. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the ring right there. I'm gonna grab that creeper, make it start chasing me, have it blow up right here. The ring goes boom, and then he can't propose. And I could just be like, oh my gosh, it was a creeper. There was nothing I could do. Done. Come on, creeper. Get out of the water. You could do it. Come on. Creeper, I've never, I've never wanted a creeper to be able to free itself so bad in my life. Please, don't blow up either because you are my only hope right now. Please. Can I just hit you back so you can get on the dirt? No! No, you're gonna blow up. Oh, no. Oh. Well, there goes that plan. Oh. What now? He's gonna be here any second. Please. I just need another creeper in this world. Just one more. Oh, let me put this back for now. I'm gonna go see if I can find another one because this, this idea is just the genius idea. I need to make sure it goes as planned. But where are we gonna find one? Okay, I got that one by that force over there. Come on, come on creeper, you can make it. Please, please, come on. Yes, there you go, there you go. Please don't kill any other animals either. Blow up. Blow up! Go! Blow up! Yes! Oh! 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 It didn't blow! It didn't! It didn't! It didn't blow up the ring! It! It, it didn't! It didn't blow up the ring! No! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why me? <laughs> Maybe I could just throw it in the river. But I mean, he's. Ah! Uh, uh, I just put. Uh, I'll have to put it back. I, I would feel too bad if I just throw it out in the river. Because he worked hard to get it. It just wouldn't be nice, would it? 
<sighs> I think it's just time for me to face this like an adult then. I got no other choice. We're just gonna wait for him now. Zai, wh what happened? Um, well, you see, th I, I was just looking at the artwork over there and all of a sudden there was a creeper near the animals and I didn't want them to die. So I ran over here and I tried to fight the creeper and then the creeper blew up and then it blew the chest up and it was just, it was so scary. I'm so sorry I wasn't here to protect you. Oh, it, it, it's okay, it's okay, you know. I, I like being able to protect myself, you know. And, and one of the little bunnies escaped, so I thought, you know what? He was meant to be free, so I think we should just let him go. But yeah, anyway, do you want to go back to um, the food? Because I am kind of hungry. Wait, did did you see what was inside the chest? Um, yeah, I, I, I did. Oh man, I, I wanted it to be a surprise. Oh, trust me, it was a surprise. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um... It's not what I think it is, is it? Well, what do you think it is? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure it's an engagement ring. Am I right? What? No, it was it was supposed to be a necklace. What? No, look! It, it, it was a ring. You, you could see it in my hand right now. It, it wasn't a necklace. Oh my gosh, that is so embarrassing. <laughs> Wait, so you weren't proposing, right? No, no, not at all. That What? No. Oh my gosh. Well, you wouldn't believe what kind of scare you gave me, Ned. I, I thought you were going to propose to me. It freaked me out. I was about to disappear and never come back to the village. I was so scared. I must have just grabbed the wrong thing. I've had this engagement ring forever and ever, but I wanted it to be a necklace. Oh, well, I guess you owe me a necklace then. By the way, let's just get off the subject of this ring and stuff. What is this over here? Are those your paintings? Yeah, they are. I'm actually really, really good at painting. I can see that. How come you only um, painted the same image four times, though? <laughs> it's because it's the only thing I'm good at painting. <laughs> oh, that's a funny joke. Uh, but yeah, that, they're really nice. And can I have one then as a gift? Maybe since you didn't give me the necklace? Sure, take all of them if you want. They were kind of made for you anyway. I wanted to show you that... I'm more skilled than just being a miner. I can see that now, and you're really good at setting up dates as well. Anyway, do you want to just go sit down and enjoy our meal? Sure. <sighs> Finally home from the date. Who's this? Hi, Evan. Um, hey, Remy. So, tell me, how was the date? Um, uh, let me, let me kick Evan out, and then I'll let you know about it. Okay, so... It actually went really well once I got, you know, stopped getting paranoid about him wanting to propose to me and stuff. It actually was, it was a lot of fun. Wait, so he didn't propose? No, he didn't. See, it was just a little mix-up where he actually put the wrong present in the chest. It was supposed to be a necklace, not a ring. <laughs> you're so silly. I bet you just felt so n not smart. Yeah, I did feel silly, but it was actually really, really nice. After we had our dinner and stuff, he set off the fireworks and he was telling me a bit more about himself. And uh, yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. I think, I think there's going to be a second date. Are you serious? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think a second date, definitely. Oh my gosh, after the second date, can we all go on a double date? Uh, I'm not much for double dates, but I guess I could talk to him about it and see how he feels. And then, yeah, maybe we'll go on a double date. Oh my gosh, what if you guys keep going on dates and you get along and then we could have... Oh, <gasps> we could have a double wedding. <laughs> no, Remy, no. First of all, I'm not going to get married. And second, even if I was, I would not have a double wedding. We're not both walking down the aisle at the same time. That's weird. Oh, come on. As a compromise, instead, I'll walk you down the aisle, yeah? That's if you get married. Okay, deal. Anyway, I think I'm going to head to sleep because I'm going to start working on your house, young lady. So you should be really excited about that. I'm going to try to get it done as soon as possible for you. All right, so it's the next day and I'm just kind of gathering a few more things that I'm going to need for Remy's house. And then I realized that I forgot to give Ned his gift. 
oh, I better go um, and try to find him later today and, and give it to him and stuff. But yeah, it was a really, really good time. Uh, we did kiss at the end of the day. It was nice. It was really nice. And he was always really polite and stuff. I don't know if he actually did mean to put a necklace or that was just him like trying to cover up because he saw how it reacted and stuff and, and he didn't want to get embarrassed regardless it was a smooth recovery it stopped me from freaking out i mean it would have been too soon if he had proposed way too soon and there's no way i would have said yes and of course i didn't want to break his heart or anything like that so at least it avoided the awkwardness of that all that being said, even though things went really, really great, I haven't forgotten about Callie at all.